Hi guys, welcome back to the news. This is Bliss Channel. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And do not forget to talk, give us a thumbs up. Lagos Agberus Tretin Tinibu Vow to carry guns, rob people, if our ship continue next month. My people, my people, Wahala Day, what hardship and hunger will cause in this country, Nigeria? Holy God knows. There is no doubt people are really passing through difficult times in this country. To the fact that Hagbero now formed union to challenge President Tinibu. Anyway, let's quickly hear the details of the report. Some area boys in Lagos State, popularly known as Agberus, have sent a message to President Bola Tinibu, urging him to help them amid the biting hardship in this country. That the hardship is too much for them and their families. A video sh shows the moment one of them vowed to engage in harm robbery if things don't change. In the video, the Agbero said he has four children and a wife at home and that things have worsened in the country, that they can no longer feed themselves. He said he is giving the federal government two months from now to address the situations or else he will turn a criminal. Meanwhile, Nigerians had set the New Year agenda for President Bola Tinibu's administration, saying the federal government must end economic hardship, which has made life unbearable in the country. The 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the Ekiti Elders Forum, in separate statements on Sunday, lamented that Nigerians are finding it difficult to survive. Also, some stakeholders in the manufacturing sector in separate interviews with the news agency of Nigeria said Nigeria needed a specific blueprint to critically address the impact of inflationary pressures on all economic activities in the country. Recall, President Tinibu had on the assumptions of office on May 29, 2023, removed the fuel subsidy, which subsequently led to the increase in the price of petrol from 185 Naira to between 620 Naira and 650 Naira. The first subsidy remover has also impacted the inflationary trend. According to the National Bureau of Statistics Consumers Price Index, November 2023 reports, headlines Inflation surged to 
8.20% in November from 27 to 33% in October. Atiku Abu Bakr, in his New Year message on Sunday, described 2023 as a challenging year, adding that the lesson would prepare Nigeria for the future that 2024 holds. The former vice president, who berated the federal government's economic policy, said, certainly many families and businesses already know the intensity of the trying times that they are currently going through. Out, we could have taken a completely different pathway had the government been smarter with their policy prescriptions. So guys, how did you see to this matter about Agberos threatening Tinibu on the situation of hardship in this country? It is true that things are hard in this country at the moment, but it's not enough for an Agberu to boast that he will choose to carry gun and become talks or turn criminals if situation remains the same. On the other hand, President Tinibu should quickly, as a matter of urgency, to look into the problem of hardship Nigerians are passing through at the moment and quickly face these challenges and not always keeping up, keep on promises. Nigerians are tired of, tired of promises. Nigerians need implementation. So guys, kindly share your thoughts on the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.